Okay. So like everybody else these days, I'm gonna be checking out the Prime 2D demo. I gotta make sure it's getting captured here. Okay, I see it on the screen. Alright. Uh, cause this game can only be played in either full screen or a really, really tiny window. You can't really, there, there's not a lot of options to this thing. Uh, full screen or... Uh, that's the only option. Full screen or very tiny. So. But it is showing up on stream, so that's good. And this game uses keyboard and mouse, so it doesn't use a uh, gamepad. But you'll see why. I did test it out a few days ago. We got it, and we're going to just uh, jump into it and take a look and play around with this a bit tonight and see what we get. See how it's like. Express signal detected locking on coordinates. I think this came out on April. Oh, it was. The demo was released on April 1st, I want to say. Or it was the day after, right, right around that time. And like immediately everybody's picking up on this thing. It's like, a Metroid 2D game. Wee. And then it's like, it's a fan game. Wee. Then it's like, oh no, Nintendo will probably shit can this. Which uh, so far has not happened. But um, I would imagine Nintendo is probably well aware of this now. <laughs> Of course they're aware of it. But... I'm gonna check it out tonight. I don't know how long the demo is. But I'll just uh, play it for maybe an hour. Hour, hour and a half, see how far I get in it. It's been a long time since I played a Metroid game. Now that I think about it. I generally do like the Metroid series and like I think like a lot of people I really would wish Nintendo would probably, you know, kinda get with it while getting some Metroid games on the Switch. I mean if they release the Prime trilogy on Switch, I'll probably definitely get it. Because I had uh, the first couple of Prime games on like GameCube when I had it. Played the heck out of those two games. Like, they, they were great. And of course, I played a lot of the 2D Metroids. I, have, I still have my Super Metroid cartridge, actually. I still have that in my uh, cabinet. Probably has been lost recommending traveling off books. So we're just completely skipping the, um, the space station bit. Okay, this is supposed to be like a 2D version of the first Metroid Prime, from, from what I understand. Yeah, it does look pretty good. Alright, so... Use a keyboard, don't use a gamepad. I would say this probably most closely resembles ter Terraria, almost in the way it controls. You aim with the mouse, and you move or move with your uh, wads. Yeah. God, bugs. When I tried it out earlier, there was a scanner. Oh, here we go. Scanner. Here we go. Scan. No. Scan. Scan. Oh, the right mouse button. Okay. I was holding the wrong button. 
Do you have the scanning function from the original game? I want to scan things. Last cat. It's um Okay. I was looking at it's like you know, there's like I can't read the whole thing. Died. Okay, local environments impeding progress, scanning for an alternate route. I'm going to go east. Alright, I'm going to go east. Scan. Beaker. Gotta get those log books. See, can I scan the door? Oh, I can scan the door. And ship. Give me information on my ship. The gunship. I should probably save. Saving would be a good idea. There's a missile expansion here. Oh, there's a... I have to be in a ball form again there, I bet. That's where it is. Yes, you probably are hearing my keyboard. I don't really have a good place to put my microphone when I'm using a keyboard, so it's kind of close by. Just gonna have to bear with it. Entry map station. Okay. Map station. Map station does not work. Okay. Let's go another way. Mm. It'd be nice if I could like read like the whole paragraph. 
in the in the initial scan. Declaration. Okay. It's a thing. It's a thing. Get the thing. There are 12 artifacts are needed to activate this temple. Okay. And... Rogue data has attached itself to your suit. Oh! Okay, okay, now I can go in. It has been a long time since I played Metroid Prime, so I may not remember specifically what happens. But I know you get you were on a planet. There are Chozo, and there are the space pirates and Metroids. And the Dark Samus. Actually, no, no, we don't. We don't have Dark Samus yet. We have the the Metroid Prime, is what it is. Which you fight at the end of Metroid Prime. And then later on, assimilates parts of Samus and becomes Dark Samus in Metroid Prime Two. We end up on the light and shadow world. Under construction, okay. Instead on explosives or something can be exploded. Okay, so I guess I need missiles to get in that. No no. Do I have missiles? Apparently no, I do not have missile. I do not have any missiles yet. Okay. Need to go find some. Oh, it's those things making that noise. I was like, <laughs> okay. Samus's footsteps sound really weird. So now we got the power group, we might be able to go back the other way. Save. Save. 
rearrange a little bit here. Hold on. Uh, see, I'm not really sure where to put my microphone because I don't have enough space on my desk. Uh, hopefully, I might be okay. I just want to be able to see my uh, monitor on my stream. Since this game is like stuck in full screen, I have to rely on my uh, laptop to monitor my stream. Same issue I would have to deal with when I'm streaming from the Switch. Not that big of a deal, it's just since I'm using my keyboard, I kind of have less space to work with. But we do have the music. I recognize the music. Or at least it's a remix of the tune. Remix of the Shores of Tune. I'll bring it up here. Oh, that does damage. Dinky plant. Okay. Uh, bomb block, I guess. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I'm just like shooting everything. And sort to chosen ruins west. Okay. something here if I can make a little bit better space here. Let me try that. Eh. Hold on. Let me see if that sounds better here. Okay, that might work. Okay. I kind of just moved my microphone back a little further. So it's not quite so close to the keyboard. I have a little more wiggle room here.
the golden age. See, they probably need to make an adjustment here. Adjustment so you can get all the text in one box instead of having to like scan it twice. I mean, yeah, sure, I guess you're meant to go into the lore log and read it there, but it'd be nice to be able to do so on the first scan. You know, just, just do it there. Just a suggestion. That's not kind of a puzzle thing. That looks pretty com complex for a puzzle. Oh, bugs. Yeah, bugs. I like a little bit of reflection in that. Let me see that. be a way to like activate these things. This is a map station. And a save spot would probably be really helpful by the way. Oh. Oh, I 
kind of do, do, do like the uh, splash effect, you know. That's cool. Do anything because I don't have bombs. Do not the boom. I'm getting really tired of this boss. So give me five mecha. Mm. What the other thing? Okay, on. Who wants to be team rotation? Natural boss fragment senses. Can I give you more information than that? See, this is why the log thing needs to be on the entire screen. I have mecha. Okay, here we go. They can actually read this. And how do you scroll through the um, the text here? I don't know how to scroll down. So apparently there's stuff here about fighting it, but I can't read it because it's kind of not where it's supposed to be. Oh, what's going on here? I don't like how my aim moves at the screen like that, because I'm like not in control where I'm aiming. Interesting, but kind of tedious. But if I gotta be honest. I don't 
don't know if it was just tedious in the original game. Okay, well, at least that was the last one. the missile now. Can I has? Oh. Now we're gonna do this. Missiles. Click the fire. Okay, cool. It'd be really helpful to have like a save point right now. So we don't have to do all of that again. I'm happy to take that. A rift in space time grinning for progress. A sign of more to come? Oh, is that it? Okay, well I guess that was it. I was gonna go back and try and use the missiles to um see if I could find some other stuff. I didn't know the game was going to end right there. I was like... Maybe you could give the player a little bit of a warning that the demo ends right there, and if they want to go back and check anything else out, they should do that right now. Before they jump into that. Because I didn't know what that was. But it was pretty good. I mean, for for, for a 2D Metroid, it, it was pretty good. It, it, it's different from you know what most people are probably used to. You know? It probably separates itself slightly from the IP. Only got 20% of the items. Of course, because I got the missile at the end and I didn't like. It. Oh wait, okay. It will let me go back. Ah, okay. Good, okay. Now, is there something else here? Okay, that's just the end. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and see if there's other stuff I can find. Because um, now that I got missiles, I might be able to get the morph ball. They're lost. They're awful. They suck. Uh, 
much my missile capacity? Did it say on screen? This is back over here. Oh, that was my first one. Okay, so I still don't know how to do the map room. I guess the map room is just not a thing that works in the demo. Missiles, yay. More explosions. We like ex explosions. Safe station. Okay. Went right by it. Die, bugs, you don't belong in this world. Shift in response to explosive force. Oh, okay. There we go, fourth ball. It'd be nice if there was like some kind of like visual cue. Just to kind of tell me that, hey, you destroyed the thing, I can get in there.
missile refill. Refill. Oh yeah, that's the thing. I dropped that. be just about everything I think maybe I can do in this area. I don't think I can go any higher. Just let me go in here. See what I can find in this area. the speed block right there. Oh. Okay, well I don't think I can do anything with that.
have to shoot it. It's a little not what I'm used to. No, I did it before. I thought I pressed down before. I guess you're not getting anything out of that. Styles acquired. And I don't think there's really anything else to do. I don't think there's any place, any place else I can get to. Certainly I'm not expecting to get a speed booster. So, I guess that's probably it. Back to the ending, maybe they'll tell me if I got everything. Yep, see, see how much I found you.
don't think there's anything. Oh, there is something right here. What is that? Missile. Aha. More missiles. Okay, so I can just avoid all of that mess now. A thing. Bugs! I'll go off. Gotta hate these things. They were awful in the original game too. Stupid wasp. I guess I need a bomb block to get through that. I'm gonna assume I need a bomb block. I'm assuming that's a bomb block. I do not have any bombs. I do not have bombs. Getting through that. Oh, those things don't hurt me. Okay. Leave me alone. Let's see if I found everything. It, 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 is a, it is a pretty decent demo. I guess you want to think about it like kind of like a proof of concept thing. So it's like, yeah, the uh, that the concept of a 2D Metroid Prime can work. It's possible to do. So I, I think they did a pretty good job of it. Probably still needs like a few little tweaks here and there, but of course it's just a it's a demo, so I mean it's not gonna be perfect, but it is pretty good for what it is. 
I would be curious to, curious to see more of this. I know some people kind of want to play with gamepad, with a gamepad, and myself included, to a degree. I think a gamepad would be easier. Because I know it has the uh, Terraria style of gameplay. And even in Terraria, I don't think I really was a big fan of uh, the way it played. But it was something I got used to after a while. So apparently I only got like 53.3% of the items, so apparently there's more somewhere? I'm not sure where, I mean I'm assuming I would have to find the bombs, but I don't know where they are. So. I guess I'll probably leave it at that. It's a fun little demo, so if you're interested, um, certainly look it up and try and check it out before the inevitable happens and Nintendo gets rid of it. So. Anyway. That was fun. I'm going to get... Get out of here. Quick game. Yes. This project made by fans for the sole purpose of having fun. Fun is important. So that's going to be it for tonight. I will see if I continue to do something tomorrow or Friday. Or maybe I'll just take tomorrow off. We'll see. Anyway. That's it for tonight. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.